Greetings, Earthlings. I'm Alan Boyle, Aerospace and Science Editor at GeekWire, with scenes from the pre-alpha version of Flight Simulator, the eagerly awaited reboot of Microsoft's classic game franchise. But this isn't just a game. This new flight simulator puts you in a virtual airplane of your choosing and lets you roam through hyper-realistic representations of the real world based on two petabytes worth of aerial imagery from Bing Maps served up by Microsoft's Azure cloud servers. I was among the first from outside Microsoft's team to try out the software during a press preview in Renton, Washington. I'm a flight simulator newbie, but even I was able to get the hang of the controls and figure out how to fly over my neighborhood in a Seattle suburb. And that's not all. As part of the press preview, I got the chance to take a mini flying lesson and fly over my neighborhood in a Cessna 172 Skyhawk, the same plane that I steered in the sim. Flying for real was less challenging than flying the sim. But to tell the truth, that's because the flight instructor at my side was doing most of the work. I can vouch for the fact that Flight Simulator's Seattle terrain is true to life, but the software covers the whole world with just as much detail. From Lisbon, to London, to Seoul. You can adjust the weather and lighting conditions as well, turning a sunny day into a nasty rainy evening. Flight Simulator 2020 isn't even in alpha yet, let alone beta, but you can sign up to take part as a product testing insider at flightsimulator.com. For GeekWire, I'm Alan Boyle telling you to watch the skies.